So where do I start with this? Um, I've actually thought about it a lot. With the new year came our third child. Uh, she was born seemingly healthy and then we learned um, that she actually had a pretty severe birth defect. Uh, her, her official diagnosis was esophageal atresia with a tracheoesophageal, yeah, tracheoesophageal, soph tracheoesophageal fistula, which is just some fancy words to simply say that her esophagus was not connected to her belly and the tube um, coming from her belly that was supposed to connect to her esophagus coming from her throat uh, took a wrong turn and ended up in her trachea. But when it was really hard for her to nurse, uh, she was taken to the NICU and at 2 a.m. I got a phone call from the doctor telling us of her diagnosis. She had a pretty crazy surgery, a five hour long surgery on her second day of life. And we spent a lot of time uh, in the NICU. It turned into a normal routine to go up there every evening and spend time with her while James put the kids to bed. And it soon turned into a second home for me. Um, we made friends with all of the nurses and I hold them near and dear to my heart. <laughs> By mid-March, we were able to bring Ruth home and she got to meet her brother and sister. What is this? <gasps> Look, you're finally home. Daddy. Okay. I think I'm going to mommy. Don't touch your tongue. I told him he can touch right here, oh, okay. where there's nothing there. Oh, okay. um, no, no, no. You wanted to touch no, her cheeks. No, no. Oh, that's so sweet. So <laughs> we had a lot of footage um, of James building the rest of the house out um, up to, well, I don't remember when it, we stopped, but I accidentally deleted a whole bunch of footage um, from about December through June of this year. Um, and that was really, <laughs> when it wasn't there anymore, I was like, oh my gosh, where did it go? Because I know I had copied it. I know I had put it on, this, on the drive and um, it just wasn't there because I always double check and triple checks. You know, I check to make sure the footage is there because who wants to lose data? You know, nobody does. And in my line of work, like losing data <laughs> is not a good thing. But anyways, um, luckily he got a lot of progression shots every day as he finished um, or every few days as he would finish up some of the bricks. Um, he got anywhere between 50 and 70 done a day, um, which, you know, isn't a ton, but for the most part, he was on his own. And, you know, we had a whole bunch of other stuff going on at the same time as well. You know, putting these bricks up, there's not a lot of action shots um, to get. It's the same thing, different day. Uh, you just slap on the slurry, put the brick on, and keep on going. Um, Sometimes you have to cut a brick, sometimes you have to mix some slurry, but it's the same process and it doesn't go quickly. Uh, when you only have a few hours a day to do it, it goes very slowly. So our timeline has um, just really changed to be able to get into here and we've just kind of accepted that. We are definitely not OSHA compliant out here. We have no scaffolding because our scaffolding is literally just pallets and maybe some two by 12s because <laughs> you can't put it, it's too uneven and you would have to move the scaffolding over and over and over again because this isn't built you know one wall at a time it is built around and around and around because there's rooms on the inside and there's walls on the inside so it just kind of just has to fit together like a puzzle and um, it's just really hard to move large pieces of equipment. So for a while we had 
uh, pallets lined up out here so that he could just hop on them and start going. Eventually he ended up using the tractor because it was much easier to move the tractor, you know, six feet and lift it up and climb up and put the bricks up. Um, and then he could lift the bricks up with him. So that helped a lot as well. Good morning, Sasha. Your best. proud? You did it, huh? Good job. Good job. What do you guys say for yourself? And all your fans back home. Around April time, uh, the well guys came out and finally our well was able to be dug. Uh, it was so wet last year that the area that we wanted to put the well, that we knew there was water, was just so muddy and they could not, uh, they couldn't bring their giant rig out here to get it. Uh, we've come a pretty good ways on the house and I'm very happy with where we're at and I hope James is too um, but fall is setting in and we are so happy to have these cooler temperatures and to just be able to be outside longer he can work on the house longer um, it's not so miserable anymore so I'm going to show you some progression shots of the house as it has come through this year and it really does showcase um, how far we've come and how much work is entailed you know building all these walls out because these bricks are heavy and lifting them above your head you know it's your weight lifting and when it's a hundred degrees outside it's just kind of hard <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to start on the roof really soon um, and you know be able to live in our beautiful structure sooner rather than later.